Alright guys, yesterday we took a look at the V60 versus the S21. Today we're going to do uh, the Velvet. So, uh, starting off with the prices. So, 800 bucks brand new for the new S21. The Velvet will run you around 420 right now. I'll put those links down below. And uh, you can get the refurbished one like the one I have uh, for actually 350 right now. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started with the hardware here. So, uh, you know, picking both phones up, the Velvet is a glass and metal phone, and the Velvet is kind of like, I, I wouldn't say it's a mid-ranger, but it's kind of like a mid-ranger plus, I guess, if I was to make something up. But it's, it's not a flagship because it just doesn't have that, uh, I guess, that 800 series processor, so it's not a true flagship. But definitely, I think, a little step up from a mid-ranger. But hardware-wise, glass and metal, very thin phone. And also you have a little curved screen up front that gives it a really premium feel to it. And you have a very unique design uh, to me, especially with the camera module, the little water drop sort of descending uh, setup here. Uh, this mirror finish is really nice looking as well. It does pick up a lot of fingerprints. The Galaxy S21, they decided to go with plastic uh, like we've been talking about. And um, some of you guys were on board with the plastic and some people were not digging the plastic. I'm kind of on like the side where I'm not now now that I'm playing with it and feeling other phones, glass and metal phones, it just does not feel as premium as you know a you know glass and metal phone. So I don't know. You are feeling the metal part, you know, mostly, but it's just when you feel the back, it just I don't know, it just doesn't feel as premium, even though it's a matte uh finish and it doesn't pick up fingerprints. But again, it won't break as easy, so it really comes down to personal preference, honestly. But I really love the S20's camera module setup. I think it looks really, really good. A really, really nice choice by Samsung. It looks much better than uh, last year's uh, design, so I really like that move. Uh, but as far as design, I actually really like the Velvet's design. I think it's very understated and that underappreciated uh, looking phone here. Uh, just to go over the uh, phone, so you have your power button on the Velvet power button volume rockers. The Velvet still keeps the headphone jack. Unfortunately, there's no quad deck. You have stereo speakers on both of these phones, USB Type-C. There's no headphone jack on the uh, S21, of course. Now, let's talk about the display. So, the Velvet has a 6.8 inch P-OLED display, 1080p, 395 for the PPI. The S21 has a 6.2 inch display, 1080p, uh, 421 for the PPI. It's dynamic AMOLED and it's also a 120 hertz HDR10 plus display. Uh, so I definitely um, don't see a huge difference when it comes to quality. Now I do see a difference when it comes to color. Uh, the S21 is definitely a lot more vibrant looking and uh, the screen does seem to be just a little bit, a little bit brighter to me as well, uh, but they both look really, really great. Uh, so it really just comes down to personal preference here when it comes to quality. Now I can change my screen uh, vividness on the Velvet to get a more saturated kind of look like that. Uh, but they both look really great. So I want to know, do you guys prefer the look of the? Do you guys prefer the look of the curved display on the Velvet, or do you like the flat display on the S21? Uh, so I like the curved display, the feeling in the hand, but like. A lot of people don't like curved displays because you get accidental touches, right? Um, but it just looks really good to me. It looks cool and it looks better from the front than a curve. I mean, than a flat display because uh, the bezel seem more apparent on the S21. Uh, but just talking about the uh, rest of the phone, you do have a punch hole and you have your water drop notch up here. So you do have a little bit more bezel, especially at the top and uh, bottom of the uh, velvet. Uh, but overall, screen quality looks really great on both. They're both very nice displays. It really comes down to, uh, you know, what kind of display you like. Do you like curved displays or flat displays? Now, you will notice the difference between 120 hertz uh, display here. You probably you won't be able to see uh, on on this video, uh, but it is very smooth and it is noticeable from a 60 hertz phone. Uh, so that is one thing that's really cool. Also, you could take advantage of 120 hertz games on the S21 uh, as well. Uh, so it just gives off a really nice uh, experience here. So talking about the software, you have Android 11 on the S21, One UI 3.1. Uh, on the Velvet, you have Android 10. It will get Android 11. I believe the rollout has started. I just haven't got mine on this AT&T version. 
and uh, you also have LG's uh, UX skin, uh, which I like. It's really almost pretty much like stock Android to me, so I don't understand uh, the hate here. It, and it's really not even a lot of stuff that LG's doing on here. They really left uh, it alone. There's there's uh, you know additional features and stuff. Your screen recording, screen sharing, and stuff like that. Samsung skin is definitely you know much heavier, more feature packed. You got your secure folders on here. You got a ton of stuff on here. Your um, you know, screen recorder, you also have your desktop uh, dex mode, and it's just a ton of stuff if you go into the settings and stuff. A lot of stuff you can customize and play with uh, on uh, the One UI for sure. Uh, so it really comes down to your personal preference and uh, which one uh, you, you know, prefer. Alright, so you have the Snapdragon 765G on the Velvet. You also have 128 gigs of internal storage, 6 gigs of RAM and micro SD support. On the S21, we have the latest and greatest Snapdragon 888 chip in the Adreno 660. You actually don't have any micro SD support. So this is the first time we're seeing that on the uh, S series. And it is kind of whack. I don't, I don't like it. I feel like at this price point, you should be able to just keep the expandable storage. Why take it out? So I don't understand, but the base model is 128 gigs and 8 gigs of RAM. So let's check out those Geekbench scores and then let's check out some real world uh, performance here because the Snapdragon 765 is really not a slow processor at all. It's actually uh, should keep up pretty well at least with uh, you know your social media applications and stuff like that. Alright guys as we can see here big difference in both the single core and multi core score. Um, so let's go ahead and see how this translates to real life here. Let's go ahead and close out all these applications. Uh, Three, two, one, and looks like the, so right behind it too, so not a huge uh, difference in terms of speed right there. The S21 was definitely faster, of course. Let's try YouTube. That was pretty much even. Let's try Play Store. S21. Let's try see Instagram. Three, two, one. S21. By a good amount of time, actually. And let's try. Let's get out of that. Um, let's try a tempo run. We can see S21 again, but as we're seeing, not a huge, like it's not like crazy, a crazy different, you know, speed difference here. Let's go ahead and try a uh, web page here, openespn.com. S21, but as you can see, not by a huge margin, you can see that was still loading up. But it's not like a crazy uh, speed difference here, uh, which um, is nice to see. Yeah, so how do these phones compare uh, when you're gaming, stuff like that? And uh, let's go ahead and check out the graphics on both. So with the Velvet, you're limited to HD high. And with the S21, you can go actually go up to Ultra HD with extreme graphics so big difference when it comes to gaming so uh, that is where you know there's gonna be a diff big difference with this price is you'll just be able to game uh, at a higher FPS and higher graphics so uh, you know you can see the difference in texture quality and with the FPS it just looks smoother uh, on the S21 for sure uh, but the Velvet does handle gaming just fine you just won't be able to like max everything out like with the latest and greatest, but it is very capable still uh, of gaming. All right, let's check out these speakers. So you have dual speakers on both of these phones. Let's go ahead and start with the Velvet. So what I'm hearing here is that they're both 
about the same amount of volume but there's more depth uh, with the base and you have a little bit more kick uh, with the S21 for sure here but they actually both are very loud you just don't have as much depth with the kicks and bass on the uh, Velvet Yeah, but they're both, they both sound really, really excellent. So uh, no complaints here. They're not distorting at the highest volume. So they both sound uh, excellent. Right, let's talk about getting into the phone. So you have a under display fingerprint sensor on both. And the S21's fingerprint sensor this year is very fast. It's been very impressive. And you have one on the Velvet with the awesome always on little lock screen. You have the same thing on Samsung, you can customize. But uh, this one, has never gave, given me a problem. It's, it's not as fast as the Velvet. And with the S21, you do have uh, the option to be able to do uh, the um, face unlock, and you do not have that option uh, with the Velvet. So uh, that kind of sucks, but um, getting into the phone is fine for both of these guys. Uh, now, you also have IP68 dust and water resistant on both of these phones as well. So if you drop them in the water or whatever, uh, they won't break immediately, uh, which is nice. Both phones have NFC for mobile payments as well, uh, which is always nice. All right, let's talk about the camera. So with the S21, 12 megapixel standard, 64 megapixel telephoto, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 8K video. You also have a 10 megapixel selfie that shoots in 4K. The Velvet 48 megapixel standard, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel depth sensor, 4K video, as well as a 16 megapixel selfie that shoots in 1080p. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the photos and then we'll talk about them uh, right after. All right, so let's talk about these photos. So one of the main things I noticed is that the S21 does handle white balance and portrait photos a lot uh, better. You get just better blur and uh, it handles the light. So I, when I take this picture, it was in front of like, you can see the windows, a lot, uh, really bright light coming out and they both handled it pretty well. It's just that the S21 uh, did a much better job uh, with this shot here, retaining color and uh, everything, the white balance, which is nice. Uh, but let's move on to this photo. Now with this photo, you get really oversaturated colors with the S21 uh, for sure. And you actually get more detail with the Velvet on this shot here uh, for some reason. Uh, they both do a good job, but I can actually see like the texture uh, on the Velvet. So it did a really good job uh, with that one. And um, you guys would be surprised. These cameras are not like super far off. I was really impressed with the Velvet. Now with the, the ultra wide lens, Samsung did an excellent job with the S21. It takes some very detailed uh, shots with the ultra wide. So it really killed the velvet. If you look at the grass and stuff, I can see the texture in the grass. Uh, the velvet ended up a little bit soft uh, on the ultra wide. So you just get softer photos with the velvet as far as the ultra wide is concerned. Uh, so the velvet or the S21 really killed it there. And uh, right here with the trees and uh, you guys notice the image uh, profile here or the color profile is um the velvet is giving you way more natural colors Samsung's giving you a lot of like oversaturated colors which I guess looks good to people I guess that's what you know people like uh, to post these days super like photos that really pop but as far as detail and stuff like that they both look really really good almost you know close with the detail here again with the standard lens here 
They both took another excellent shot. Again, more green colors on the S21, more lifelike colors on uh, the Velvet, but both very clean uh, looking photos here. Your selfie camera is going to be cleaner uh, on the S21 as well. You just get an overall uh, cleaner shot when it comes to detail. Uh, that's one of the main things I noticed the Velvet was just a little soft compared to the S21 uh, when it comes uh, to detail on the face. You just get like a softer photo. Uh, but both cameras, excellent. I and mean, you got to remember, this is like 400 bucks, uh, you know, more expensive than the uh, uh, Velvet here. But I was really impressed with the Velvet. Um, you know, the S21 is going to kill it with the ultra wide and the uh, front facing camera for sure. Uh, but the other uh, sensors were pretty much tied uh, to me. Right, let's talk about the battery life situation. So, you have a 4,000 milliamp battery on the S21, 25 watt fast charging wireless charging and you have reverse wireless charging so I could charge uh, this phone up uh, with the S21 which is really cool on the S21 you have a, just a slightly bigger battery life uh, at 4300 milliamps it's the same 25 watt fast charging wireless charging as well as far as which one has the better battery life um, they both seem to drain honestly at like the same pace uh, to me so playing with both phones they both seem to have the same battery life, even though this one's a little bit bigger. Now, they're both capable of 5G, but I haven't tested them on 5G because I don't have it in this area. But uh, as far as battery life, they are almost seem pretty much on par with each other. I can't really say if one is better than the other uh, without doing like a whole like actual screen uh, drain test. Um, but they feel pretty much the same. So battery life is really good on both. Uh, they definitely can go a day. Uh, easily so you can definitely get six hours of screen on time uh, easy with both of these phones so uh, what do you guys think be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one